Now that it's clear what the dodge and burn technique is, let's take a look at common terminology to avoid future confusion or difficulty. There are two main groups that deal with dodge and burn, though these are unofficial groups. These are the micro and macro dodge and burn, or global and pixel level dodge and burn. Global dodge and burn, otherwise known as contouring, refers to anything that is processed more globally. For example, if it's a portrait, fashion, and beauty photography, it's about contouring clothes and body parts like cheekbones, nose, mouth, etc. Pixel level dodge and burn refers to more detailed skin and pore processing. The skin, hair, or whatever the small detail, we need to get close in to see and work on it. With global dodge and burn, the strokes are not as precise and their purpose is more for shaping and more general in movement. While at pixel level dodge and burn, the work is individual to each part of the image we decide to process and the movements are more refined and they resemble dots and small lines on the skin used to remove blemishes and lines rather than shaping large areas like global dodge and burn. The difference between the portrait and beauty photography is that portraits are allowed to, and it's even desirable, to leave little specks on the model's skin to look as realistic as possible, while in beauty photography, everything must be polished, and it should look perfect. Blemishes and flaws on the skin are unacceptable when the model has to advertise a beauty product. For our example, we don't consider our model's freckles as flaws, and that's why in our retouching work, it will be slightly harder to retain and keep the existing freckles natural because we consider them as an advantage with which we will use to achieve amazing results. But just keep in mind that in beauty photography, everything must be perfect and we will do everything to achieve stunning results.